So in today's video, I am going to show you how to perform the OKEx task on MEFI. Basically, I'm going to show you how to connect your OKEx Web3 wallet to MEFI on that SWE network. And that is this task that you're looking at here. All right. Now, for, for some people, this task might be just straightforward. While for some those of for those of us in Nigeria, is a little bit um, not straightforward because we still have a lot of things we need to do. We have to make use of VPN. All right. So I'm going to show you in this video how and what you need to do in order to complete this task on the main file. Okay. Now the first thing you need to understand is that you're going to be needing um, OKX Exchange. So just basically go to Play Store, search for OKX Exchange. And this is it just download it and install it all right so when you have done that you are going to open the app and the app is going to look like this the app is going to look like this so when you open the app it's going to look like this it's going to ask you to um sign up and everything just don't worry about signing up it's not necessary yeah i say don't worry about signing up don't do anything just come to this place just come to this place to wallet that's what we're going to be connecting. Yeah. So just come to wallet. Just click on wallet. It's going to switch to Web3 wallets inside the OKX exchange. All right. So when you come to that, basically, you're not going to see all these things you're looking at here. This is my wallet. I've already imported my wallet. Now, you can either create a new wallet or you can import an existing account. So if you already have a wallet that you usually use for airdrop, you can decide to just import it. And then if you don't have a wallet before, then you have to just create a new one. All right. So what I'm going to do is now is just quickly, basically come to this place. Just come to this place. When you click on it, even if your own is not showing like this, try to locate a way to get to this place. So just come to add wallets, add a wallet. So when you come to add the wallets, as you can see here now, add a wallet. So just once you click on add a wallet, it's going to ask you two things. Is either you create a new wallet or you import an existing wallet. So I've already imported my wallet. Yep. So I don't need to do that again. But if you know you have not done it, you need to import it or create a new one. Now, after the creation of new wallet, you just have to go back and uh, come back to this place. Now, if you are from probably uh, a country that permits you to make use of Okay, there's no problem. You can easily access this without any problem. But for those of us in Nigeria, I notice that it is almost impossible for us to do this without a VPN. So that is why you also need to get a VPN. So just also go to Play Store, search for Windscribe. Windscribe VPN. Yep, VPN app. So once you just click on it, you're going to see it. Please, this is the one you're looking for. This will scrap, will scrap. So just install this VPN, click on it, and then install it. So as you can see, my own is already installed. So all right. So that's that. Okay. So after you have installed this VPN, now the next thing you need to do is to start the whole process. So first of all, you will need to open your main file and then ensure that the wallet you are connecting is the wallet that is open. Now, first of all, let me open my main file. My main file is already open, as you can see now. Now the next thing I need to do is I need to go open my VPN very very important so i'm going to open my vpn so this is my vpn winscribe vpn so i'm just going to open it and now once once the vpn is opened the very next thing you need to do is just have to come to this place tap on just switch on your, your vpn yeah if you are creating the account it's going to ask you to enter your email or something like that so just follow the process and arrive at this point now when you are here just click on this to turn on your VPN. So once your VPN is turned on, you start reading. All right. So now we have to go back again. Let's go back again. Now we need to open our OKX to just to make sure that the wallet I'm connecting is actually is the correct wallet. Yeah. I'm also going to show you how to run multiple wallets here. Yeah. In case you have multiple accounts on the file. Okay. So when you come to this place, all you just need to do is as it is here now, this is the wallet I want to connect. Fine. Okay, so I'm, I'm just going to quickly go back to my main file. 
and then switch to my account i've already connected this account to another one so i don't want to connect it again so i'll have to switch to my second account so this is my second account on menfi okay so i'm going to connect to that particular account on okay so i'm going to just click on this place once i click on this place it's going to ask me to check tasks something like that so just have to just double click it when you double click on it just wait it takes some time you see it's going to take you to your okay so it's going to ask you to connect just click on connect as you can see down here just click on connect wallet and it's going to process connection successful but that is not all it keeps giving error so just have to click on it again to go back to that place again so let's see what's going to say connect wallet again connection successful okay it's whenever it says checking it stops so i want to i, I want to find out what the reason is now remember that I told you guys that you need to first of all open your memfi before opening your vpn so probably i have already opened my memfi for the first account then opened my vpn now why the vpn was was stay on i went on to open my second account probably that's what is affecting it so i'm going to go back to switch off my vpn and then on it again yep so let me just switch it off let me switch it off and pull it on again Okay, so I just click on it, it switched off. Okay, so I'm going to click on it again to put it on again. Okay, now I'm going to go back. Let's see what it's going to look like. So just click on it, check, and wait, give it some time, it's going to load up. And then you just have to click on connect. Now it says, please approve in wallet look at this place you know what this means it means that you have to go back to your wallet now if i minimize and go back to my wallet will it close now let me minimize and go back to my wallet now look at what is happening it's not actually bringing up the prompt it's not actually bringing up the prompt i'm looking for yep it's not actually bringing up the prompt I'm looking for. okay now let me tell you what to do now, for those of you, if your phone permits you to do multiple screen, like, let me show you what I mean by multiple screen. Let me just show you guys what I mean. Okay. Okay. So now, I'm, I'm going to click on it again. Let me show you what I mean. Now, just click on it, on it once, not twice. This time around, click once. And to tell you to connect wallet. Now, once, okay, it says approve in your wallet. So please, if you can do this on your screen, see what I'm doing now. It, it will automatically split my screen so you see my screen has been splitted so my main file is here my main file is here and my okay file is also open at the same time so that's what i'm going to be using to do that so i'm, I'm going to click on it again check task uh-huh so connect Okay, so you see what happened now automatically it comes up and says confirm so i hope you see that now it says confirm so i'm going to click on confirm i'm going to enter my fingerprint and automatically it's going to be connected so automatically it has already been connected to my wallet so when i open my main file fully I'm going to discover that it says task accomplished can you see that here yeah it has removed so but as you can see it says thank you for completing the task so now i have completed this task i will now click on return to game return to game all right so return to game and that is that now i'll show you now how to um, connect to multiple wallets for example if you have different memfi accounts i will now show you how to connect to different wallets in order for you to confirm that this is actually connected just click on this place again click on it again it's going to tell you thank you and so on and so forth so it says thank you for completing the task and that is that so this one is completed and also as you can see the balance has increased by 25 million which is also the reward all right so i'm going to switch to my second third account on MFI 
and I'm going to connect another wallet on that same OKX. I will show you how to do that. Okay, so all right. So now, before you open your next uh, wallet or your third wallet or your second wallet, please make sure you first of all you go back to the VPN to please switch it off. Please switch off your VPN. It's very important. Switch it off. Avoid interruption. Then you now go back and access your other accounts on MFI. All right. So. Okay, so this is my third account on Memphi. So I'm going to remove this. I'm also going to remove this. And then, yeah, it's good to go. Okay, so now it is ready. But before then, there's something I need to do. I need to go back to my OKX wallet and then make sure that I switch to another account. Now, how do you do that? Just come to this place. You can add another account. But I already have different accounts here. So this is the account I connected. So I'm going to connect this account now. So I just need to switch to my account E, my wallet E, and it is now active. As you can see here, my wallet E is now active. All right. So the next thing I need to do now is I need to now go back and switch on my VPN as usual. Remember, my main file is open, and then my VPN now is going to be turned on. So now I've found my VPN. The next thing I need to do now is I need to quickly go back to my main file and then click on that mask again, which is this. Which is this way. Right. So when I click on it, as usual, it's going to start the process again and it says check task. As you can see here, now I've not connected this wallet. So just what I've said before, just click on it once. Just tap on it once. The VPN is active now, so it's going to work. When you tap on it, we'll just wait. Okay. So it's already active. And then just click on connect wallet. Okay. It's connected. Now let's see what's going on. It says approve. So I'm, I'm going to split my screen now. So the moment I split my screen, I'm going to see that it's going to automatically bring it up for me to approve. So this is the problem with my phone. If I don't split my screen, it won't work. Maybe for your own, it might work. So, but if it doesn't work, just split your screen. It's going to work. So I'm going to just confirm it and then enter my fingerprint. And um, that will be that. And let me see what it will say. Okay, it says wallet connected successfully, as you can see on my main file. All right, so wallet connected successfully. So that is that. So as you can see now, just once you are done with this, just click on return to game. And you're going to see that you have received the bonus of 25 million extra coin. And then as well as when you come back to this place again, when you come back to this place again, you are going to see that it will say thank you for completing the task. And that is that for this video. Now, if you know you learned anything from this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and then if you have any question regarding this please don't forget to reach out to us in the comment section just go to write to the comment section and then let us know what your opinions are all right so thank you very much and do have a nice day and happy lunch in advance